you knew it was going to come. We're going to look at what's called two-step equations, where we mix up the adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing all in one equation. And after you get good at the two-step equations, we're going to move on to equations with what we call items, variables on both members. That means an x is on the left side and an x is on the right side. And we're almost too complicated. Not too bad. After that, it's going to come parentheses, when the equations will even get hard enough for you to see that inspection just won't work. So stay with us. Follow the rules. Learn how to do two-step equations, equations with variables in both members, and equations with parentheses. You can do great at Algebra 1. Maybe your parents are learning, too. I hope so. We want more math. Thanks. Bye. Okay, let's look at two-step equations. And here I actually have a learning e prob a section where it says learn about two-step equations and mix two-step equations. These are very similar. You know, some teachers required a, just a little bit more complication in this one. So I do do this one, see if I can trick you if there's one other kind of problem that slips in in this mixed two-step equation. The, terms are mixed up. So let's see if I can fool you. But right now, let's look at this one. <clears throat> I was trying to teach this business about what you do to one side. So here we have an equation. Negative 10x minus 7 is equal to negative 5. So negative 10 times some mystery number minus 7 is equal to negative 5. Now, some of you that could do problems by inspection might start to see that your brain is beginning to fail you a little bit here. And maybe our way of doing this, what you do to one side, we have to do to the other, might actually not be such a bad idea. So what we want to do is we want to unwind this and find out what the x is. We'll be done when the x is by itself. So I always say, attack your enemies from the outside and work your way in. This 10 is sitting right next to the x. It's his best friend. We're not going to get rid of him right off. We're going to get rid of this hanger on, this negative 7. The term with the x in it has this 7 subtracted from it. So the solution for getting rid of this negative 7 is to add 7 to both sides. So I made it so that what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're going to actually put a 7 on this side of the equation and a 7 on this side of the equation. We put a 7 on this side of the equation, it kills off the negative 7. We put a 7 on this side of the equation, we get a 2. And when you push this add button, I'll do that arithmetic for you, because just in case. So now you see we got the two. When you're doing your own work, work in paper, you'd have to do this addition for yourself. And this would kill us off. Now we want to get rid of his best friend, this negative 10. What is it doing to the x? It's multiplying. So to get rid of multiplying, you have to divide, which means that the negative 10 is going to go on the bottom of your answer negative 10, which means there's only one place for the 2, and that's here. The answer is negative 2 tenths, or 2 over negative 10, or negative 1 fifth, or 1 over negative 5. All of those are right. When I go to check this, it's going to tell me my answer is correct, but that it could be reduced. Probably the best answer would have been negative 1 fifth. Watch. Your answer is correct, but it could be reduced. So we could have made that in 2 negative one-fifth. Right now, I want to make sure that you do the steps. So let's hit a new problem. What is the first enemy to get rid of? It would be this negative one. How do I get rid of a negative one? I add a one to both sides. Oh, I'm going to do that. I add a one to both sides. I'm doing the adding for you. But sort of predict what's going to happen. What's going to be on this side is going to be a negative seven. What's going to be on this side is four x. Let's see if that's right. Now we want to get rid of the 4, his best friend. How do I pull this 4 away from this x? What is the 4 doing to the x? It's multiplying. What's the opposite of multiplying? Dividing. So we are going to have to divide by 4. So I'm going to put a 4 on the bottom, meaning that it's divided by something, divided by 4. And the something is going to be negative 7. And that is the answer. 
been hard to think of that by inspection. Maybe some of you are bright enough to do that, but already you can see that following the rules is going to get you a lot further. All right. So you could use this program to practice your two-step equations. You should practice them until you get really good at them and you have no hesitation. I find that a lot of times students have a desire to have the bigger number on the bottom and most errors come right here because they'll look at um, the 4 and the 7 and say the answer is 4 7 because we have a desire to make the numerator smaller. But you must divide by the number that is in front of the x. Get that so that you never get it wrong. Good luck. Bye.